Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS HD 5850i Cooler 5 Turbo 1 GB GDDR5 video card. What's included with the HIS HD 5850 video card is an installation guide, case badge, software and drivers, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 game coupon, two 6-pin power adapters, a crossfire bridge, as well as a DVI to VGA adapter. This video card has a PCI Express interface of 2.1 and it's based on the RV870 core which is built on the 40 nanometer manufacturing process and has 2.15 billion transistors. It comes with the iCooler 5 cooler which has a massive heatsink and the base plate comes in direct contact with the GPU and memory. There is also a large fan that's included which blows cool air over the many aluminum fins to dissipate the heat. There's no doubt about it, this is one very impressive cooler and it will have no problem keeping the video card cool. Remember that this particular cooler design will port the warm air out the back of the case and also inside the case, unlike the blower style fans which will pull in cool air and then it will port all of the warm air outside of the case. This video card has four video connections, two DVI, a display port and an HDMI which fully supports 7.1 channel audio. Also at the top are the Crossfire bridge connections and there are two 6 pin power connections. The maximum power consumption is 151 watts at maximum load and 27 watts at idle. So a quality power supply that can handle the load is very crucial, especially in a multiple video card crossfire configuration. The core speed on this product is 765 megahertz and the one gigabyte of GDDR5 256 bit memory is 4.5 gigahertz DDR. It comes with 1440 stream processing units for vertex pixel and geometry data, 72 texture units and 32 raster operations. The pixel fill rate is 24.5 gigapixels per second the texture fill rate is 55.1 gigatexels per second and the memory bandwidth is 144 gigabytes per second. This product has too many technologies to cover in detail in this video but let me mention the main ones. It has TerraScale 2 unified processing architecture for physics, image quality enhancement allows sharper scenes, stream acceleration technology to run applications faster, Crossfire X multi GPU technology allows dual, triple, and quad GPU scaling, and Power Play power management technology, which enables low power consumption at idle. It also has Ifinity technology, which enables many displays to be connected at once. For example, three displays can be connected simultaneously, and each display can have a resolution up to 2560 by 1600 which is an incredible amount of desktop real estate. While the other technologies are impressive, DirectX 11 really stands out, especially amongst gamers. This image clearly shows the difference between DirectX 10 and DirectX 11. DirectX 11 allows more eye candy because it gives game developers the tools required to produce mind-blowing graphics, effects, and much more. Additionally, a Vivo HD video and display technology enables superior quality and a high definition visual experience. Now let's have a listen to the video card's fan at different fan speeds. Remember the video card driver sets the fan speed automatically but it can be set manually.
This video card offers tremendous bang for the buck. It's a balance between performance and price because the video card performs really, really well, but still has lots of features and technologies. Now, it might not be as fast as the 5870 or the 5970 video card, but it is not as expensive as those video cards. But remember, you can always add other video cards. If you want to do a crossfire configuration with this particular video card, you can do that. And it's a video card that I often recommend when somebody is in between maybe a 5700 series video card and maybe the higher end 5870. Something in between them, this is definitely one of the very best bang for the buck video cards on the market. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.